So today we're going to be checking out the Ugreen NAS server. And I'd like to thank Ugreen for sponsoring this video. I've been seeing tons of YouTubers post their videos about the Ugreen NAS and thankfully they decided to work with me and I'm super excited because I've kind of built a NAS over the years, like a DIY NAS, just basically building my own computer and then adding storage to it and then making those drives networked. So, you know, being able to access them over the network, but I've never had a standalone dedicated NAS and I'm super excited. This thing is nice. And we're gonna go through the setup process. I'm gonna show you how to set it up, how it works. And then I'm going to actually integrate this with my Plex system because I know a lot of you guys watching this use Plex and you can also utilize this with a, you know, some type of 4K video player, like if you have a Zadu or something like that. So let's go ahead and jump into the setup process. All right, so I've got the NOS turned on. Once you turn it on, you're gonna wanna go and open up your web interface of choice. I'm using Google Chrome. And then you wanna type in find.ugnos.com. So we're gonna do that now. And by the way, you wanna make sure that when you do this, you're on the same network. The computer that you're using to, to log into the NOS, you wanna make sure your NOS is on the same network. So we're gonna type in find.ugnos.com and we're gonna hit enter. And it finds it very quickly. So you'll see the name of the NOS, you'll see the model number, the IP address, and you wanna write down your IP address for this. So I'm gonna copy this. And then I'm gonna to go to my notepad and I'm gonna copy that because I will probably need it again. Okay, we're gonna hit connect. And we're gonna name this, so I'm gonna name this Haterade U Green NOS. And then it's gonna ask you to please set administrator account. And it looks like I have too many characters. So we're just gonna do this as Haterade NAS, okay, and we're going to type Haterade here, and we're going to set a password, okay, and then we're going to hit next step, and it looks like you can't have any spaces in between your device name, so we're going to hit next now, now that I've fixed that. All right, so then it's gonna ask you for your cell phone number so that you can get a verification code to verify and then you can register. So I'm gonna skip over this part. I'm gonna enter it in, but I'm gonna skip over it so you don't see my phone number. All right, and then once you finish registration, you're gonna get some options. So you're gonna get system update options and you can see that here. I'm going to automatically install all updates. And then do you wanna share device analysis data with Ugreen? I'm going to hit start skip over that and we are finished initializing the device so that's a super super quick setup so you click I understand and then you have some icons here some apps so you have file manager support control panel store manager store manager universal search app center and then log center so the first thing that we want to do is we want to click on storage manager and then we want to create our RAID system. And it's going to tell you at least one storage pool and storage space must be created to store data on the Ugreen. So we're going to hit start. And then it's going to ask you for RAID type. I'm going to do RAID 5. So I have four hard drives, four terabyte hard drives each. RAID 5 is going to allow me to use three hard disks to form a storage pool. And then I'm going to end up losing one of those disks because that one disk is going to act as my backup in case I lose some data, that one will be backing up. So I'll be able to use that one hard disk to back up the data if one of the hard disks becomes damaged. Okay. So then we're gonna select our hard disk. So we're gonna select at least three. So one, two, three. Okay. Okay, so now it's telling me that hard disk one, disk two, and disk three is not in Ugreen Cloud's product compatibility list. And you may lose important data if you continue. I'm gonna hit continue. They supplied me with the hard drive, so it's kind of odd that they're saying this, but I'm gonna hit continue. 
Okay, so then it's gonna tell you how much capacity that you have. File system, we're gonna do the recommended. Then we're gonna hit next step. And then it's gonna show you what your storage space is gonna look like. And we're gonna hit complete. And then it's gonna ask you, do you wanna format these disks? Is if you have anything on there, everything's gonna be deleted. These are brand new disks, I haven't put anything on them, so we're good. Okay, and then it's gonna ask me for my password. Okay, so our storage pool is created. And as you can see here, we are doing a RAID 5 and hard disks 1, 2, and 3 for a total of 7.2 terabytes. And then we have storage space 1 here, and it's using 2 gigs. Okay. So then if we go to hard disk management, we can see our hard disks here. We have disk 1, disk 2, disk 3, disk 4. They're all the same size. You can see the temperature of the storage. And then if we go to external storage management, I don't have anything connected to the external storage, so we're good there. Okay, so now what we wanna do is we wanna to go to File Manager, and we wanna create some partitions here. So we're gonna do a shared folder. We're gonna hit the plus sign, and we're gonna do new shared folder. So this folder name is gonna be Haterade. Cowboy Cinema, and we're gonna select storage space one. That's the only one that's available. We don't want to hide this shared folder and network neighbors because obviously we're sharing it. We want it to be seen. We're gonna hit create. And then I'm gonna give read and write access to myself. Okay, we're gonna hit okay. That folder's created. And then I'm gonna create another one, another shared folder. And this one is gonna be Plex server, Ugreen storage. Okay, and then we're going to hit create, and then we're gonna give read and write access again. So then we're gonna hit okay. Okay, so now we need to do a few other things first to make sure that we can see our shared folders over the network on my network. So we're gonna to go to control panel we're gonna to go to file service, and then we're gonna to go to SMB. We're going to enable SMB. And then for work group, we're gonna call this Haterade work group, okay? And then we're gonna save that. And then under FTP, we wanna enable, enable FTP service. We're gonna hit understand. We're gonna hit apply. And then we're going to go to NFS and enable NFS service. So this tells you after enable, you can access the Ugreen NAS storage via NFS client and you can edit its access permission in the management page of the shared folder. We're going to hit apply. Operation is successful. Okay, so the next thing that I want to do is I'm going to click in file manager. And then we're going to go to where our shared folders are. And I'm going to click on this Plex server Ugreen. And I'm going to right click and hit properties. And then we're going to go to NFS permission. And then we're going to hit add. And I'm going to actually type in the IP address of my Zidu player. That way it'll make it easier for me to be able to share those files over the network. And hopefully we won't have any issues. So I'm going to type that in here. Okay, we're gonna give read and write access. And then I don't think we need to do anything here. And then we're gonna click start async and we're gonna hit save. And then we're gonna hit okay. All right, so now we should be able to go into Plex and see if we can see the drive. So I'm gonna go to my Plex server. All right, so unfortunately my capture device kind of failed on me, so I lost some of the video, but I'm gonna go back and show you basically what I did. So I went back and I added the Ugreen NOS to my network. And to do that, you can do it a couple ways. You can either go to your file explorer and you can go all the way down to network and you can find it. As you can see, I already have it here. But 
I like to use, let me minimize this. I like to use Total Commander. And for those of you that don't know what Total Commander is, Total Commander is basically File Explorer on crack. So it's owned by Microsoft and it basically is just gives you a ton of more functionality than your standard File Explorer. So if I scroll down here, you can see I've already added those two folders that I've shared over the network, Haterate NOS Plex and then Haterate NOS, Haterate Cowboy. So to do that, I just went to net I go to network connections and then you would pick your drive that you want it to be. And then you would type in the IP address, which I've already done. So you can see that the Plex server is on the drive U. So I'm going to hit cancel because I've already done that. So if we go to U, we can see here I have Dune Part 2 and Underwater. And then if we go back to U Green Nosh, you can see Dune Part 2 and Underwater. So now I'm in my Plex web GUI, and I just want to show you what that looks like integrating the Ugreen NOS with Plex. Again, I've already done this. Unfortunately, my capture card didn't capture when I did this, but it's pretty easy. So what you want to do is you want to go to your folder that you want to add it to. So I've added it to HG and Ultra HD. So I'm going to click the little ellipses. We're going to go, we're going to, go to Manage Library, and then we're going to go to Edit. And then we're going to go to add folders and you'll see here that I have the U network drive mapped. So this is the U drive that is here. Okay. So basically what you would do is you would browse for media folder. So this is my computer and this is the network. So all these little glo globes are the network drives that I have mapped on my computer. So I'll go to U and then you can see here those two files that are on my Ugreen NAS Dune Part 2 and Underwater are already mapped. Okay. And then if you want to double check that, I can go to Dune Part 2. I can click get info and then you'll see U Dune Part 2. So if I was to add something else, which I'm going to show you that as well, because I want to show you the speeds. If I was to add something else to that folder, it should automatically pop up. So what I want to do is I want to go back to total commander and I'm going to find a file to add. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to show you the speed of copying something over to, from my network over to the Ugreen mouse. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this here on my Ugreen NAS and then I'm going to go over to Blu-ray ISO since these are pretty big files. Well, let's check the size. So the biggest one I have here is Gemini Man, which is 97 gigs. So I'm going to hit this. I'm, I'm going to hit copy. And it's going to ask me if I want to copy it over to the U drive. I'm going to hit OK. And then we're going to see how long it's going to take. Now, this is copying from my computer over the network to the Ugreen NOS. And I don't have gigabit or anything like that. And as you can see, it automatically populates the time, 19 minutes. It's going to fluctuate probably between 19 or 20 minutes. So I'm going to let that run through and I'm going to speed it up. And then we'll see how long that actually takes. All right, so our movie, our ISO has finished copying and it took right at 20 minutes as you saw on screen that it told me it was gonna take 20 minutes. So 20 minutes to copy 97 gigs from my computer over my local network to the Ugreen NAS. That's pretty good. Most of the time, I'm not copying anything that that's big or that big. Most of the movies, if I'm copying it over, it's probably gonna be 50 to 60 maybe 70 gigs. So we're looking at probably 10 minutes or less. I think that's pretty good. So let's double check and make sure that this is now reflected on our Ugreen NOS. So we'll go back to the NOS. We'll go to file manager. You go to Plex and there you see the Gemini man dot ISO. So 
there you have it. That is the Ugreen OS. It's very simple. I love this thing. This is my first dedicated like standalone NOS that I haven't built. And this is awesome. This makes my YouTube workflow work much easier. And now I have added storage to add to my Plex server that I can access over my Zidu. And I highly recommend this product. It's very good and they have very diff different choices that you can choose from as far as storage. All right guys. so. That's the video. That's the setup process. That's how you, or how I integrated it with my Plex system. Let me know if you guys are planning on purchasing the Ugreen NOS. I'll leave some links in the description where you can purchase the Ugreen NOS. They have different configurations that you can buy. But I'm curious if you do buy one, or if you are planning on getting one, how are you gonna integrate it into your system? Are you gonna use it as a media server to access files over the network with like Plex or Zidu? Or something like that i'm curious to know what you guys are going to be utilizing this for if you decide to purchase this so once again guys thank you for watching make sure you like share and subscribe and don't forget to come back for more home theater related and nas related content possibly in the future thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video